Hi, I'm Ariella, and I just taught the intro belly dance class at Wildfire. There is a man standing behind you making very funny faces, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, so um, to quickly summarize what we covered uh, without music, because I had some audio issues, the first thing we talked about was posture. Um, the best belly dance posture is to be controlled in here with these muscles, which you can engage them if you kind of lean back and poke here. You'll feel, them, uh, you'll feel them engage. So kind of use this to keep your butt from sticking out. So you kind of want it to be in neutral. The knees should have just a gentle bend in them. So not downhill skiing and not completely locked. And you want the rib cage to be lifted. Um, the best way to feel what that's like is if you go like you're about to dive into a pool, you'll notice your rib cage is suddenly lifted and then bring your arms back down. And uh, that's good belly dance posture. So the first thing that we talked about was a hip twist which one accomplishes by bringing one hip forward and the other hip back, and then alternating. Um, the key to this movement and many other movements in belly dance is isolation. So you want to try to twist your hips without bringing this along. You can make this movement more sharp by squeezing your glute on the side that your hip is coming forward. See how that's sharper now? Or I can do doubles on either side. If I do this really quickly, it turns into a shimmy. So this is me just doing a really quick uh, hip twist. Another good movement and kind of classical movement in belly dance is called the hip circle. A good way to get yourself doing this if you've never done it before is to put your feet about shoulders width apart, put your hands on your hips, and just move your hips in a big flat circle. And this is really not too isolated, so once I've got the idea in my hips, I'm gonna bring my feet back in and do a smaller version, which I can isolate. So my hips are moving and my upper body isn't coming along for the ride like this. It's just moving along. So then there comes the question of what do I do with my arms because they're just kind of hanging out like this. Um, a nice way for beginners to get their arms from being a problem is to take your hands and bring them above your head and frame your head like this. Or you can bring one arm down if you want to frame a movement just on one hip or, you know, over on the other hip. Um, Another thing we talked about is shimmying. Uh, different body types will have different types of shimmies. Uh, one of the easiest ways for a beginner to get shimmying is to do a heel-driven shimmy, which you do by bending your knee and picking up your heel, and then you kind of slam it into the ground. And see how I've got a shimmy going on one half? If I alternate that, I'm doing a nice shimmy. And that's a quick summary of uh, what we covered in class. Thank you for watching. Ha, ha, ha.